Hello, people of the internet. It has been a long time since I've made a video. Um, I think after the last video I put up, um, I got pretty busy with work. It was um, months of not having anything going on. That's why I made the videos. And then all of that work started to kind of catch up again, um, finishing up a few records and mixes and things like that. Um, so yeah, I was busy. And I had a few ideas for videos along the way, but um, you know, life interrupts ideas all the time. And one of the videos that I was gonna make was in response to a comment on a earlier slide guitar video. Uh, in that video, I had made a reference to saying something like play little bits and pieces of scales uh, around the slide position that you're in. And so I thought I would make a video about playing scales on slide guitar and how if you understand the harmonized, let's just say the harmonized major scale as it applies to playing blues type music, um, that you can apply some of that you know, to your linear and melodic slide guitar playing. So one of the easiest ways to start playing scales on, on a slide guitar is just go with the tonic string, the third string in open G, which is what this guitar is in. Open G is D, G, D, G, B, D, okay? So uh, I'm on the third string, the G string, so you have the open position, that's the tonic, or G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then G again. And that would be the major scale on one string. Up and down the scale, or zero, two, four, five, seven, nine, eleven, twelve. 12, 11, 9, 7, 5, 4, 2, open. Um, you can also play scales um, ahead of the slide from open position and stay in more or less one position. So you have the open third string, second fret of the third string, open second string, first fret of the second string, open first string. Gosh, I hope I'm saying this right. Uh, second fret of the first string, fourth fret, and finally the fifth fret. Or G, A, B, C, open D, F, E, F sharp, G, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. And you can keep going down, whoops, F sharp. On down to the open, uh, the open low G. Those two strings are parallel as far as the scale is concerned. Or whoops, third fret is replicated on the open string. Third fret of the second string is re replicated on the open string. Anyway, those are some uh, ways you can play an open position scale. Um, in the key of G. And if you're in blues, you're gonna have a flatted seventh. Right? So what I'm doing there is I'm playing the fifth and the seventh uh, scale degrees. So you got the D. And then um, whatever that would be, uh, F natural. When I hammer onto the second fret, it's like a six scale degree, so you have a typical slot. Um. You know, that kind of business. Um, that's a whole other technique. Um, all right, so to go up to 12th position, you can play notes behind the slide to complete a scale. If we start on the third string, the G, then you can fret the second string at the 10th fret, then slide on the 12th fret, and then 10th fret of the first string, and then slide on the 12th fret of the first string. That's just a one, two, three, four, five um, type of thing. You can also get that flat third in there.
you know, that stuff. That's all sliding. Then you can keep going down from the uh, that root position on the third string. Um, so what I'm doing there is I'm uh, using the slide on the 12th fret, middle finger on the 11th fret of the third string, um, index finger on the 9th fret of the third string, slide on the 12th fret of the fourth string, slide on, I mean, index finger on the uh, 10th fret, index on the 9th. Then you have to slide up to the 14th fret of the low G, and then down, so. Whoops, I cheated and used my slide on the, on the major 7th. Um, anyway, these little bits and pieces of scales, um, Uh, you can use them to try and play parts of melodies, um, you know, anything you can do to make your slide guitar playing a little less dust my broom and a little more, you know, like a, a, a melodic instrument, and, you know, like a, a voice or a, a violin or something. And uh, because you can play double stops and have open strings, it, it really does um, lend itself to the unique characteristics of the slide. To cover that um, that intro that I played, um, it's just an eight-bar blues I played up at the. Uh, so I'm sliding up to the twelfth fret of the um, of the of the second string, then the first string, back to the th second, sliding back up to twelve, and then the twelfth fret of the third string, and then repeat that lick at the seventh fret. All right, the next lick is a little more tricky. What I'm doing there is I'm sliding up to the ninth fret of the third string, using my middle finger to play the eighth fret of the B string, and then, let's see, am I doing it that way? Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm slide, fret, and sliding from seven to eight on the first string to get that flat seven sound over the, uh, over the four chord. And I slide from flat seven down to six, then. And what I did there is just repeat that opening lick with a double on the third. Same as the beginning, and then. Probably open G, slide from two to four on the G string. And then a quick slide up to the fifth fret of the first string to play the tonic. And that little walk down, that's just 12, 11, 10, 9. Um, you know, you can explore this as, as much as you feel inclined to. It's a, it's a technique I've been using for a long time, and I probably don't get to play it as often as I would like, but when I get in a mood or I'm working on a record or something that's got a bunch of slide guitar, then I, I really start to spin out the ideas again. So these are a few things I've been messing with on a record I'm working on with somebody, and maybe they'll be of use to you. Okay, um, we're just around the corner from Thanksgiving here in the United States uh, when I'm making this video, and um, I hope everybody has a, a, a good Thanksgiving, you know, makes the best of it and uh, has everything they need. And uh, they're around people they like to be around um, as much as you can be. Okay. Uh, I'll see you next time. Maybe I'll try making more videos uh, again. I'm on the verge of slowing down. We'll see. Uh, they're talking about more shutdown, so maybe uh, holding off on recording for a while. All right. Take care of yourself. I'll catch you later. Bye.